I, I can't believe just what's happened. Okay, it has happened and it's unprepared. Okay, let's drop the break. Um, <laughs> okay, we said yesterday we were going to have Wayne Brown on and there was a mix-up in communication with time zones and we didn't get him, but he hadn't snubbed me because Wayne doesn't. He's a decent guy. Um, something was lost in translation and Wayne Brown, Brown the Mayor of Auckland, joins us uh, now. Mayor Brown, thank you. Where are you joining us from? Constantly. Oh, you're in Ponsonby. You are back. Someone said you're in China or something, and we had a problem. We thought you were, we were going to have you on yesterday, but we'll take the bonus uh, today. No, I was in a symposium about oh. trade with China. It was very interesting, really. Oh. And, uh... <laughs> okay, okay, curb your enthusiasm. Um, what we wanted to talk about, in particular, <laughs> Wayne, you've been you through... China, mate. That keeps our country going. Yep. Uh, we've been talking um, about rate rises all over the country. You are now saying that you can keep general rates in Auckland to an increase of, what, 6.8%? Yes. And we're increasing the spend a bit on transport to do that as well. All right. And uh, we're also using money to fix up the... Um, uh, unfairness between various local boards, so we're actually fixing quite a few things and doing that. Mm. When you say general it. rates, what isn't included in that 6.8%? Uh, there's a few targeted rates, but uh, they haven't changed. They've been around for a long time. No, no, but what I'm saying is, when you say general rates are only going to imp- increase by 6.8%, what does that well, exclude? What are the targeted rates that aren't included in that increase? Well, targeted rates generally don't go everywhere. You know, like there's a targeted rate for a, uh, walking paths in South Auckland. There's targeted rates for drain additional roading in Rodney. Yeah. Um, Does this include yeah, your water of, rates? Uh, water rates are not charged as rates. They're charged as a bill, but they're, they're going up 7.2%. Oh, and they're charged from water care. Uh, they were going to go up 28.5%, but I've solved that, and it's going up 7.2%. And all we're right. still spending all the money on fixing the pipes that we're planning to do. So we've, we've got things down lower than um, some of my councillors wanted, not quite as low as I wanted, but then again, we're a broad church. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I think It's a okay. pretty amazing achievement, Wayne, when I look at Wellington and they're talking... You know, 12 to 16 percent um, rate increases. How on earth have you done this? Well, bearing in mind that the, when I arrived, you will discover that the the, um, the High Commissioner of Britain had buggered off and left $375 million hole as well, unexplained. Yep. Um, and so we dealt with that last year. I've done this just by hard nose, by business taking a business approach to it mm-hmm. and um, and understanding the, the numbers and talking all my councillors through stuff that they'd never really been exposed to before because I don't think the last lot talked about it much. Yeah, and you've done it also, it would seem to me, without selling as many shares as you wanted in Auckland Airport. Uh, well, this time I have cleaned them out, but we're not. But we're putting them into a fund. It's not using. It's not being used directly to sort the problem out. It's rather than having them in, a, uh, in all in shares that return us the princely sum of one and a half percent, that we're taking them out and putting them into a managed fund, mm. which will produce a lot more, and we'll have a a two percent reduction impact on rates mm. by doing it as well. So right. we haven't just thrown it; we haven't just used it just to cover a hole. Yeah, we're going to use it to do better. Yeah. which is what it should be doing, you know, although they produced a lot of emotion from people who seem to think that one and a half is a bigger number than seven. Yeah. Um, I don't yeah. know what we really got from them. We had to put up with a couple of former Labor ministers who were very keen on having a, a, an investment fund but didn't want to put any money in it, which is an interesting um, thing that people could get to be a minister in a, in a government and have a thought like that. I suppose they've got bank accounts that they don't put money into as well. All right, Wayne. Uh, look, the one thing that seems contentious at the moment, some changes to parking uh, regulations or parking rules for Auckland, is where is that at? 
Well, um, I, I did say that we've got to um, produce more re- revenue, but I didn't realise they're going to suddenly change it on the Monday afternoon, Monday evening, without telling anybody or without having a broad plan. But parking and parking revenues in Auckland are pathetic, largely driven by the fact that we have the same. Uh, the government set the parking fine. There's nobody in Auckland with sufficient brains to be allowed to do that. We have to go to the government to find that out. And so they've set the level that's the same as what it is in Gore. And so problem, people don't actually pay their parking fines and parking costs in Auckland because the fine's so low. So we've got to do something about that. I didn't expect that they were going to come up with such a kind of a heavy-hammered Auckland transport approach. And, and getting control of Auckland transport is one of my main tasks this next year. They still seem to think that uh, their relationship with the council is that we're an ATM that provide them with money and they, they make all the decisions. Well, that's not going to carry on. It was a result of... All right, so when are, the 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 when are you going to resolve the parking... When are you going to resolve the parking issues? Over the next few months, we'll do that. <laughs> this question from someone. What's the go with the dog poo bins? And I must say, my ma- ma- mate, Marty Devlin, who's got Presley as little dog, says, you took away all the poo bins from the parks... And now there are just piles of doggy bags with dog poo in them. Well, uh, that's a typical overstatement from somebody. Or other. They didn't take all of them away. They took away some of them to try and save. People want us to save money, OK? Yeah. And then when you go about saving money, it has an impact. Then they complain bitterly. And people who have their dogs, take their dogs home. Take the dog shit home with you, mate. You know, that's disgusting leaving them there. They're expecting somebody else who's probably on about twenty dollars five dollars an hour to come along and pick that mess up. Well it's, it's in a, a little plastic and, bag. And, and, they and used it, to put it in a bin, Wayne. It's yes, not we'll pleasant it walking home. around with a bag of SHIT. It's not bag pleasant walking around with a dog as far as I can tell, but they do it. The people do it. <laughs> um, um and there are bins in every one of those places, but you have to actually walk a bit. 